How's it going on YouTube? It's Rude Junkie here and today's video I'm pretty excited because just today it was announced that the Amazon Fire 5th Gen right here on its newest update which is Android 5.1.1 has got root access. Yes, so what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to get root access on this device on the latest software plus, plus we're going to go through my whole super tool that I created that does all kinds of cool things on here like install Google Play Store, block OTA updates, remove the stock launcher, replace it with Nova Launcher, and well, all kinds of stuff. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. Let's go check out this super tool. All right guys, here's the device right here. And first things first, I just wanna show you what we're working with. This thing's totally stock. And if we go into device options and we click on system update, you can see right here, I call it Android 5.1.1, but it's really Fire OS 5.1.1. So that's the build run. That's the latest update from them as of this date of this video anyway. So that's what I'm on, just so you can see that. While we're in here, we need to turn on developer options. You can see mine's turned on right there. To do that, you're going to tap on your build number about 10 times, and then you'll see that pop up. Then in developer options, you're going to turn on ADB debugging. Make sure it's checked like it is right there. That's pretty much all the steps you're going to have to do. The rest of it is done through my tool, which is really, really awesome. Now, at this point, take your cable and flip your device around because my port's on the top here, and plug in your Fire Tablet. There we go. Now, if it's the first time you've ever plugged in your tablet, you may get something asking for uh, ADB debugging mode to be functional. You may get a pop-up. You may not. So if you do, just pay attention to your screen over here. All right. We're all set to run my super tool. Let's go over to my computer and show you what we got. All right, guys. So here we are on the computer. And this is my site, rootjunkiesdl.com which is uh, really cool. I put all my files on here. I host all kinds of good stuff for everybody. So Amazon Fire 5th Gen, we'll click on that folder right there. Um, then you're going to see a list of all kinds of files here. Here's the one that I've got a lot of downloads on. Um, but we're going to go into Super Tool, and then this is the tool you're going to want to download. So just click on it, and it's going to bring you to this page, and the download should start automatically. It should be down here in the corner. There we go. Let this all download, okay? I've already downloaded mine. Once you download it, it's going to download as a zip. Just extract it to your desktop is the easiest. Once you extract it, you should be left, left with the folder, and then you go in the folder and you should see all these files. Okay, That's where you want to be. Just make sure you extract it to your desktop. That's the best way to go at, to go at this. All right, so we're here. Basically, um, I've got two different batch files right here that we're working with. You're going to be using the top one. The second one is if you have an older uh, Android version or a Fire OS version, you can use it to get into uh, Twerp Recovery to restore your device if you need to. All right, so we're going to talk about this one. This is actually the super tool. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And the first thing that it does is it goes ahead and starts ADB and checks to see if your device is working and the drivers are functioning. And it shows you its device is connected in a serial number there. So that means you're working. Now, if your drivers aren't functioning, you don't see that. You probably want to go to option one and install the ADB drivers and follow the directions here. And then in there, you can even test ADB drivers to make sure they're functional because most of this is done through ADB and Fastboot. So it's really important that you have those drivers and stuff installed correctly for really all the rest of these commands to work. All right, so that being said, we're going to go right to the fun part, and that's going to be how to root this new version. So we're going to type uh, 7 right here is root your device. So we're going to do that. So hit 7 and hit enter and this actually does a lot of things and it's actually going to reboot your device a whole bunch of times it should walk you through it kind of step by step so the first thing is, is you want to pick which fire os you're on so we're on the latest you saw that earlier so i'm going to click option two if you're below that there's another option you can use um, that'll use torp recovery and another way of doing it but we're below or we're, we're above we're on 5.1.1 so we're going to do option two hit enter Again, it's just running some uh, ADB stuff. And then right here, it gives you some information about it and tells you it's going to reboot a couple times. Just read through everything before you press any key to continue. So we're going to press any key to reboot into Fastboot. 
So really, when it comes down to this whole super tool, most of your input is going to be the space bar or the enter key. You can see over here on the device that we have fast boot showing. And you're going to see that for a little bit, and then it's going to reboot. Then you're going to get dumb stuff popping up on your computer. So here you go. You can see it is uh, rebooting. And right now you can see the script says your device is rebooting and will inject root files. So basically it's waiting for ADB to connect again. And as soon as ADB connects again, which right there it did, it goes ahead and does a remount and then pushes over a whole bunch of files to give yourself root access. Once that's done, it actually should be rebooting again into fast boot. You can see it there. And then again, it's all automated. I'm not doing anything here. Um, you can see all these things going through. All right, so that's done, and now your device should reboot again. Um, yeah, like I said, totally automated. And what this does is this injects. Um, well, actually, what it does is it goes into fast boot and then gets you guys an ADB shell on reboot is what is what it's doing, an ADB shell with root access. Then you're injecting all of the root files that's needed to get SuperSue running. And then once that's done, it cleans it up and does a couple more reboots and kind of finishes the process and then when you're finally completely reboot everything you'll be completely rooted and you'll have super sue and you'll be good to go with root access um, so I just automated it all so it's easy and hands-free and basically you sit back and you watch it so right now you can see it's got this uh, optimizing system storage and applications so you're gonna see that twice um, you're gonna see it this time right now just for a little bit until it finishes a process that it's running um, It should be about halfway maybe and then it's gonna reboot again um, And then the second time will you'll have to sit through that whole optimizing um, So there you go see there's there's the reboot and Now you can finish reading the script here. It says process is finished um, Now just wait for your device to fully boot up this may take some time because you're going to be stuck on that optimizing screen. Um, also, it says you should definitely be doing option three to block OTA updates uh, in the super tool because that way it'll protect you from getting automatically updated on accident and losing root access. So that all being said, you can see what we're dealing with here. We're actually done uh, with the tool. I'm going to hit any key to continue and then hit enter to restart the tool. While that's happening, you can see we're going through this Android is optimizing stuff. So I'm going to let that fully finish and kind of do a little pause here. And we'll show you we have root access and then we'll do some more options on the super tool. All right, she booted up. Let's uh, unlock it. I know it's upside down. Sorry, it's just the way my camera and my plug lines up. So if you scroll down, there it is. Super Sue, if you click on it and you launch it, you hit no thanks, boom. As long as it doesn't come up and say you need to like update your Sue binary, you're good. You have root access, all right? You could check with root checker, but I know this is, means we have root access. So you're good to go and we have root. So that would be root on Fire OS 5.1.1. Now, let's show you some of the other cool things you can do over here with uh, this new tool of mine. One of them being, well, you've actually seen installing Google Play Store, and if you haven't, um, definitely check that out. I have updated that a little bit in case there's people with bugs, so this new super tool is better than the old script. Um, but I'll link you to a video on that, probably right up here, right up there. Um, but let's go ahead and show you guys how to replace Amazon Fire Launcher, this launcher, with all this damn stupid ad stuff in here that's really annoying and basically make this thing look like Android again since it basically is Android. So to do that, that's the other thing I'm going to show you in here. The rest of this is kind of self-explanatory, but you definitely got to check out the rest of this super tool. Let's go back to the computer. All right, so the next thing I want to show you that I've been working on, um, which is kind of new, is option eight. And um, it's really cool. But first, before I do that, let me just walk through some of the other options. So install Google Play Store, you just heard me talk about um, block OTA updates should block them so Amazon doesn't update your device. Um, I know this worked on old versions without root access. I might have to change it to make it work on this new version of Fire OS. Um, boot device into Torp Recovery or CM Recovery. Those are both have to have that um, boot feature working in the bootloader, which on 5.1.1 does not. So those will not work for you if you're on a new version, but if you're on the old versions, then you can use those two uh, little tricks. And then eight is the last one. So we're gonna do option eight. So we're gonna click on eight, enter. 
All right. And again, it goes through it. It should walk you through all the stuff. So make sure USB, and de USB is debugging is enabled. So press any key to start. And what it actually does is I'm actually booting into bootloader and using the same trick as I use to root your device to allow me to um, delete things and install things. So this is actually going to install Nova Launcher into system private apps, which is really critical um, and makes this work correctly, which is really cool. So right here it says your device is rebooting now. You can see it rebooting right here. So when it reboots, it's going to actually do a full boot up and it'll boot up with um, basically root access in the shell. And then I can send all my commands over to it. Um, it's just an easy way to do it. So we're installing Nova Launcher. You can see it's doing that before it's even fully booted up. And actually, as soon as it finishes installing Nova Launcher, it's going to delete the other files. And now if I push any key, it's going to reboot and your Fire Launcher will be gone. So press any key. And it'll do a quick reboot. And you're done on here, so you can hit uh, any key to continue, then enter to reboot the script. We're actually done on the computer here. You've kind of got to run down to the super tool. I'll add more features to it as uh, time permits and as I find cool things to add. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. So again, it looks like we have a little bit of an optimization thing going on here. Um, you can see it right there. I'm going to go ahead and actually unplug my cable at this point and flip this thing around so you can see it. So we had that fire launcher in here. Now if we unlock, you can see we don't have fire launcher anymore. We're back to Nova Launcher, and it is a beautiful thing. Just exactly like a standard Android tablet. And yes, I love this way, way better. So there you go. Block OTA updates. Uh, definitely I'll figure that out for this Android version as well. So you'll see that in the Super Tool soon. And you'll be able to stick with this and, you know, get everything going. Install the Google Play Store. This thing will be rock solid. Here you go. You got Sue still, root access, and you're rocking it. There you go, guys. That's going to wrap it up for me on this video here. A whole bunch of new things with the Super Tool. I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to do more development on it. I really love this device. It's really fun to tinker with. So stay tuned for videos like that. Subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitter if you want to follow what I do up to date. This actually has been released since I even released the video. If you were on Twitter, you would know that. So definitely check me out there. And uh, about it. Catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.